forward. Bring back the silencer, have a look at that. Now we wanted to make six divots around the circumference, and so to do that, I'm just going to select our object, put it into object mode. Obviously, our origin is now in the wrong place completely, so I'm going to, um, we're in move mode, press insert, and V snap that up to that corner, press insert again, and make my number of copies. I'm going to shift D to duplicate, uh, V snap it there, that's for two, and press shift D, shift D, shift D, shift D. I'm going to hide out the reference object again. So there we have all the divots that would go around our component or around to make the silence a body. I'm going to combine these, polygons combine. I'm also going to press insert and v-snap our origin back up here because we want three down this section of the silencer. So again, shift D, v-snap to there and shift D one more time. There's our three divots. We've got our three objects, so polygons, combine. Um, that gives us everything we need to create. We probably need to merge our verts at this point. So select all the vertices, and as long as you've got a decent setting for your merge vertices, yeah. And we saw that drop down from 1400 to just over, just under 1100. So now we need to create our cylinder shape. The easiest way to do that is to add a nonlinear bend deformer. So we create the def deformation. It's vertical at the moment, which is not the direction we want. I'm going to add some curvature to that to see what direction. Okay, so we can see. <laughs> and uh, interestingly, we can see it's bleeding off the um, the detailing that we have, which is quite nice. So it ends up with a very flat. But that does allow us to see what direction we're going to rotate. And it looks like it's said. In fact, we can come up here, minus 90 degrees. Just need to add some more curvature. And you may need to slow your manipulators down for this. I like to get the curve fairly close. I don't want um, one edge to have slightly bigger joins than the other. That looks good to me. Um, I'm going to select the object, and I'm going to. We don't need the deformer now, so I'm going to edit, delete by type history, which will get rid of all of the history we have so far, as well as the deformer. And just need to merge these verts now. So select the vertices down the middle got a few extra ones but it really shouldn't make any difference merge the vertices um, let's just make sure that we got the ones down the middle that we need we should have well let's select them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen we have 26 so we obviously haven't caught them let's reduce our tolerance and <laughs> it selected them all over the show let's go back to here yeah, we're down to 13 down the middle. Now, that's looking good. Back to object mode. What you probably can't see on the encoding, I'll take the uh, wireframe on shaded off. There is, in fact, uh, a, a visual crease down the edge. And the crease is due to the fact that we've joined these two objects. And our objects had the vertex normals. And there's an option for switching vertex normals on under display, custom polygon display, there's an options box. If you open the options box, you can actually display your vertex normals. We select our object. In fact, I'll go into a front view for this. It's orthographic front. And we can see here, if we zoom in, we can see that we have um, a vertex with associated uh, edges and face. And it has its normal pointing in the direction of those edges and faces. And we have another vertex which is associated to these edges and faces. It's the same vertex, but the vertex has ed these normals that are associated to those faces. And they're pointing in two different directions. So we will always end up with that visual crease. So we just need to remove those down. Uh, the easiest way of doing that is just to select all of those. Uh, and I'm selecting through here, so it's getting them all the way down the body, which is nice and easy. Shift selecting round, make sure you've got them all. And there's an option to allow us to set these. It's um, under your edit polygons normals, this is probably just off of your capture area, you probably can't see this. There's in fact an average normals option and you can clearly see here that the normals have been averaged. So nice and straight. If we now switch off our normals and drop back into a perspective view and probably again can't see quite from the uh, encoding but there is now a nice smooth join down the middle here. Last thing left to do is just to set up our normals um, for our object. We've got some hard normals around the edge here 
and we don't have the hard edge here which is what we want to define that center pin so again edit polygons normals harden or soften I'm going to open up the options box I'm going to set an angle of 22 that seems to work nicely for me and there we have our finished geometry with some nice gentle divots down the sides I hope you found this tutorial to be useful uh, my name is Steve Hughes thank you and goodbye